Want to hear something funny? Rudy Giuliani was once the mayor of New York City. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani just can't keep his mouth shut these days. And it seems like every time he opens his mouth, he makes news. And not the good kind of news. So here's Giuliani on Fox News in late September, calmly explaining why he didn't do anything wrong vis-a-vis -vis Donald Trump and Ukraine. Oh, Shut up, Rudy. Shut up. Okay, hold on. Shut up. Hold you don't on. know what you're, Ooh, Chris, you Chris, 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 what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about, idiot. Okay, well, sure. Then there was this back and forth between Giuliani and CNN's own Chris Cuomo about whether the former New York City mayor had pressured the Ukrainians to investigate Joe Biden at the behest of President Donald Trump. Did you t ask the Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden? No, actually I didn't. I asked the Ukraine to investigate the allegations that there was interference in the election of 2016 by the Ukrainians for the benefit of Hillary Clinton, for which there already is a you court finding. You never asked anything about Hunter Biden. You never asked anything about Joe Biden. The only thing I asked about Joe Biden is to get to the bottom of how it was that Lutsenko, who was appointed, right. dismissed the case against Antac. So you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden? Of course I did. You just said you didn't. Well, that certainly clears things up. I now understand it perfectly. Or what about this one from yet another Fox News interview in which Giuliani, uh, explains the roots of his Ukraine pressure campaign. You want to know why I started investing Ukraine, why? investigating Ukraine back in November of last year? Because a very, very significant distinguished investigator came to me and said, the Ukrainians for a year and a half have been trying to get to your FBI information much more significant. There was actually real collusion it involved the Ukrainians. Well, but Rudy, the FBI did everything they could to keep this information away. And I'm going to tell you why I think. Because at the core of this is an FBI agent, Greenwood or something. She put all this together. The suspicion was at the time she was working for George Soros. The reality is she's now employed by George Soros. It was George Soros all the time. So dumb. And then, of course, there was this. You gotta relax, Mrs. Trump. We got nothing to worry about. Nobody's gonna find out about our illegal side dealings with the Ukraine. Good. Or how we tried to cover up those side dealings. Great. Or how we plan to cover up the cover up. Rudy, Rudy, where are you right now? I'm on CNN right now. <laughs> oh, wait, that was a parody on Saturday Night Live. It wasn't actually Rudy, or was it? Now let's take a break here and steer gently back to, you know, planet Earth, shall we? Here are the facts. There's no debate that Giuliani was the tip of the spear of Trump's interest in getting the Ukrainians to look into Joe Biden's high profile role in urging the dismissal of Ukraine's top prosecutor and or the fact that Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, was on the board of a Ukrainian natural gas company that the prosecutor at one point was looking into. Everyone agrees on that, but important sidebar and also factual, every independent fact checker who has looked at the idea that Joe or Hunter Biden did something unethical in the removal of the prosecutor has concluded there's no evidence either one did. End of important sidebar. Now, according to Giuliani, his work in Ukraine began in November 2018 when a well-known investigator, his words, connected him with a Ukraine-American businessman in Florida named Lev Parnas. Uh, Giuliani later told Fox News' Laura Ingram that he, quote, never talked to a Ukrainian official until the State Department called me and asked me to do it, end quote. But what we know is that through Parnas, Giuliani made a series of connections with prominent Ukrainians and began digging into Hunter Biden's seat on the board of that natural gas company I mentioned called Burisma Holdings. When the New York Times reported in May that Giuliani was planning a trip to Ukraine to meet with officials about the Bidens, the former New York City mayor told the paper this about that, quote, we're not meddling in an election, we're meddling in an investigation, which we have a right to do, end quote. Sure you do. Amid the firestorm created by Trump's personal lawyer traveling to a foreign country to urge said country to dig into a potential political rival of the president, Giuliani canceled the trip, insisting that he had been set up by Ukrainians who opposed his efforts. But Giuliani did continue to agitate for action in Ukraine. Kurt Volker, the administration's special envoy to Ukraine, put Giuliani in touch with a top advisor to Zelensky. Now, a quick note on Volker. He resigned shortly after he was named in a whistleblower complaint about Trump's conduct in the Ukraine. So now, Giuliani does sit at the center of a question that deeply imperils Donald Trump's political future. 
did the president abuse his office for his own personal political gain in trying to force the Ukrainians to look into allegations of corruption by the Bidens that had already been thoroughly debunked? Now, as House Democrats push forward with an impeachment inquiry, Giuliani is expected to be called to testify about his actions and his role and, well, why he said and did what he said and did. But even on whether or not he will actually testify before Congress, Giuliani has offered a variety of directly contradictory answers. I wouldn't cooperate with Adam Schiff. I think Adam Schiff should be removed. That was Giuliani to ABC's George Stephanopoulos in an interview in late September. Pressed by Stephanopoulos, though, in that same interview on whether that quote meant Giuliani wouldn't cooperate with the investigation, the former New York City mayor responded, So Judge, that's your answer. You're not going to cooperate. I didn't say we, that. We, we, I said I will consider it. You said you wouldn't do it. I said, you said you will not cooperate with that. I said impairment. I will consider it. Right. This all makes sense. Giuliani's closeness to Trump and willingness to go rogue has long been a point of major contention within the White House, with aides concerned that the former mayor freelancing on the international stage with the kind of sort of Trump stamp of approval is a recipe for chaos and disaster. Giuliani's role in Ukraine and his wild and angry defense of what he did or didn't do would suggest that those doubters, they were 100% right on. And that is the point. We make new point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.